I'm your Titletown neighborhood reporter Carl Winter, this is dance instructor Cassie, and we're learning about hip-hop dancing and how break dancing, known professionally as breaking, is in the Olympics. This dance company near Lambeau Field has added 18 families this year, and one of the most popular classes might surprise you, hip-hop for three to six-year-olds. We probably had four recreational hip-hop classes for just that age group alone. Um, just because they um, really enjoy it. We're definitely continuing to grow, which is, is awesome. One type of hip hop dancing is breaking. And then you're gonna switch it. Which is about to make its metal debut in Paris. It's a lot of athleticism um, in terms of, um, yeah, keeping it more grounded as opposed to um, being on your toes. I'm happy to have there's some sort of dance in the Olympics. I mean, in the future, I'd love to see others, but I, I think that's pretty cool. The breaking in the Olympics is a one-on-one -on -one competition with breakers battling in a series of routines. It can be more your own style, right? Um, versus um, having to execute a move and everybody looking the same. Judges score the breakers based on five categories, musicality, vocabulary, originality, technique, and execution. For dancer Lucy Hurst, solo performances can sometimes be easier than team competitions. If you're one person, you can change it. You can just do whatever and freestyle it. I learned a hip hop dance of my own. I'm trying, I'm trying. And after a crash course from Cassie, turns out popping and locking is tougher than it looks. Olympic breaking Friday and Saturday on NBC. In Titletown, I'm Carl Winter, NBC 26.